Hello everyone and welcome to system test 3 of the fire alarm system I've installed into my room slash shop. Today we're going to be performing a full system walkthrough along with a full system test. So let's get started with the devices mounted to the main board. Right here we have the Edwards Fire Shield Plus fire alarm panel, which is a five zone conventional panel with two conventional NACs. Down here we have a Simplex T-Bar as our board initiating device and we have an emergency push button made by STI. Above that, we have the Simplex 2903-9101 light plate with the 2901-9838 horn, um, which is set for code three currently, along with the lights. Over here, we have the CH70 made by Wheel Lock, which is not part of this system test. It's just there as a blanking device for that box. Right here, we have the Simplex 2904 light. And over here for our supervisory devices new to the system, we have a Federal Signal LP4 Streamline, which is actually a Roshni ROLP sounder. And we have the strobe connected on the Edwards G4WA-S2 VMA uh, speaker strobe. Also not part of this system test, but we'll go ahead and test uh, anyways is the wheel lock phone strobe I have set up right here, which connects to the red emergency phone I have right here above my server rack. We also have the Betabright LED sign, which I'm still working on getting the software um, all written up for it, uh, as I just changed my desktop computer and server stuff uh, quite drastically, so it's not working right now. All right, and for our ceiling mount devices, we have the wheel lock CWS-1T-24 ceiling strobe. These are pretty rare. I've only ever seen three of them, which I owned all three of them at once, and I ended up trading the other two. So this is the only one I own, but they're uh, pretty cool nonetheless. We also have the two system sensor I3 smoke detectors, as with the other two system tests. And over here on the expansion, you can see we have the Simplex 2904 light matching the other one over there. And we also have the security system stuff, the siren and the motion detector, which is actually wired into the conduit now. I'm gonna be doing a video on the security system at some point. You can see the uh, Honeywell 6160 keypad down here. Um, that will be uh, a future video coming in the next few weeks. Uh, below that, we have the Firelight BG12L pole station, which we'll also be testing today. All right, and with the walkthrough complete, let's get right into the system test. We're gonna run this system test and battery backup as the panel does not have very good power filtering. Uh, it'll make the horn sound way better. So we'll wait for the trouble to kick in and we'll just acknowledge it. Okay. And now we'll go ahead with the system test by pulling the Simplex T-Bar pulse station. Here we go. and then the system silenced as soon as I did that. Um, the reason uh, this is set up as a water flow zone is because the emergency push button is wired into the same zone. So these act, uh, this acts as the supervisory of the water flow zone, and then this is the fire side of the, super, uh, of the water flow zone. Um, that's just because I have limited zones on this panel. So the uh, pulse station has to be reset before you can silence the system. But you can see we have audible silence on this system. And yeah, all right. And we'll go ahead and re-alarm the system by pulling the BG-12. Test the system sensor I3 smoke detectors. There you go. We'll just test this one this time.
see all those zones went into alarm. Um, so we'll go ahead and reset the panel now. Here we go. All right. And as promised, I'm gonna test the wheel lock phone strobe. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this phone from this phone right here, dialing the extension, which is 9090. There you go. Just gonna silence the panel here real quick. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up that, pick up that car real quick, hang it up. All right, and now that the panel's reset, we'll go ahead and test the supervisory portion of the panel uh, by pressing the emergency push button by STI. So here we go. Go ahead and reset it. Can't be silenced because it's a relay. But there you go. System's resetting. So now we'll go ahead and reapply power back to the panel real quick. There we go. The AC failure will turn off here in just a second. There we go. All right, so that concludes system test three. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this, I have many more planned. So please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next system test video. Thanks for watching.